Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are going to learn how to make another mask. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my last video about um, that mask and then I'm going to talk about my child's mask. So I'm going to address a couple questions I've gotten. Um, so if you want to fast forward through this, that's fine. I'll put a timestamp below of when it actually starts to do um, the actual crochet for the cotton mask. Okay, so this is cotton yarn and it is lightweight. I have had a lot of questions about using cotton yarn to make these masks. And the reason why crocheters are asking that is because they know that cotton yarn is lighter and having something lighter on your face is obviously nice. For those of us who do not know how to sew, don't like to sew, don't have the stuff to sew, but you ha or do crochet and you have all the stuff you need to crochet, then this is great for us to do, okay? So I get that. Um, and so I just wanted to show you a little bit about making the cotton mask. It's using the same um, pattern basically that I use for my other one, but it does change up just a little bit on the differences and chains. And that's because cotton yarn um, doesn't have a lot of, people will often say it has more elasticity than acrylic, but it doesn't. And that's because it's cotton. So it doesn't stretch as much. So when you make the ears uh, pieces for these, um, you have to do them longer because there's not a mu as much stretch as there is in acrylic yarn. But this is much, <clears throat> this is much more lightweight than my other ones. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a bunch of these for my family as well. We already have the acrylic ones if we need them. And if it's chilly outside, we can use those. But they, it is getting hotter in the region that I live in. So it really depends on where you live as well. Okay. So, um, and then in the back, all I've done is I've taken... Um, some cotton, uh, a cotton, actually there are a pair of shorts that I don't wear anymore and they were pure cotton and I just cut them um, to fit and then I folded them a little bit and then I've got two things here now um, holding this down. Now, this is the difference between this mask and my other mask. The other mask had a back on it. And so, you know, it would become a little bit bulky. I still think, think it's a wonderful mask, but people were asking who live in hotter climates like Florida and stuff like that um, for something that was more lightweight. So this is what I came up with. Now, you might think this is a little bit loose. Uh, also, with it being cotton, it's harder to get things quite as tight. But actually, if I turn this over and I shake it, you know, that's not going to come out and it's definitely not going to come out um, against your face. Okay. So, um, and if you can sew or you want to sew just a little bit, you could sew this onto the inside as well. So it's all up to what you want to do, but I just wanted to show you the basic pattern for the cotton. And like I said, address a couple questions I've gotten. Now, um, first and foremost, I'm going to repeat like I did in my other videos. I am not an expert. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not even a nurse or anything like that. So I really am not saying that these are going to keep you safe from what's going on around in the world today. What I am saying, though, is the CDC has asked us in the United States of America to wear face coverings of any kind when we go out. And mainly it's to protect other people. We're trying to keep all of our you know, stuff in our mouth and in our faces and leave it there. So that's really the point of this. You're actually protecting others. And so putting this in here or using a filter in my other video, I was using a 3M fil uh, filtrate filter and we still are using those and I would still even put those in here. Um, and that's my personal decision. I've had several people ask me or say that they were made of fiberglass. They are not. They are actually made out of a hardy plastic called popa like. I can't say the word, but I will put it down below so you can see it. Um, but it is actually a safe plastic. Now that's from my research and what I think is safe for my family. You might not think it's safe for your family, but I just want to reiterate that because I've gotten, I've gotten so many kind comments wonderful emails and messages and just really the kindness is overwhelming more so than the negative. But I have gotten some negative and it's where people are saying, oh, these won't help you. They won't protect you, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? I don't know what they're going to do, but I do know that they make me feel safe. And I do know per CDC um, that they will keep 
others from getting anything from me. So that is the main point of these, okay? Plus they make me feel better. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but at a time like this, I need to feel better. When I have to go out and I have to go to the grocery store, I have to go somewhere that can't be helped right now, then it makes me feel good to have something over my face. It makes me feel protected and it makes helps me know that I'm possibly protecting someone else from getting sick. So just want to let you guys know that. And so let's get into the video. Okay. So like I said, this is cotton. Um, and someone had uh, asked, several people have asked about you using peaches and cream. So this is peaches and cream. I did get it from Walmart. Um, and this color is, um, ah, it's just giving a number. Oh, Oasis is the color. And um, I'm using a four millimeter hook. This calls for a five millimeter hook and this is a four medium weight yarn okay but I'm using a four millimeter hook because I want my stitches to be as closely as they possibly can that's very important because as you can see here um you know it is a little bit more holier but it is so much um lighter okay so the main differences for this um with versus my other video is that um uh, you, you do the same chain. So you do a chain of 33. So you would start with a slip knot and then you would do a chain of 33. Okay, so we've chained 33. And then just like in my other one, you would go by the same pattern. You would go into your next stitch, do a single crochet, and then you would do four more single crochets for a total of five. Then you would do eight half double crochets. Okay, so there's eight half double crochets. Then you would do six double crochets. Okay, so here's our six double crochet. And then you would repeat what we did before. So now you would do eight half double crochets. One. And right when you're going from this, and this is just a little tip I wanna tell you about, and it's for the acrylic and the cotton. But when you're going from a double crochet down to a half double crochet, it can often leave a little space. So what I do is I just crochet as closely as I can. So I make everything tight on my hook. I go in. Pull up my yarn, and I just want to bunch this all together just like that, and then pull through. And it just helps a little bit. There's still going to be a space, but bunching it up like that will help decrease that, um, uh, that big um, space that you have. So that's two. three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you would do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, 
just like that. So it's just like the other one, and then you would chain one, then you would turn your work, and then you would repeat just what we did before. So if you need to rewind, you can do that, and you can go back over that. Now, what I'm gonna show you now is, is how to do the ear pieces for your masks, okay? So the difference is, I think with the acrylic yarn, I think we chained, 23 or 28, I can't remember, I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, but for the cotton, you're gonna wanna chain 30 to 35. Now this all depends on your head and your ear size, okay? For me, the 35 worked pretty good. So let's just chain 35. Okay, and of course yours would be much larger than this because you would keep crocheting. And I want you to know that for the acrylic one that I have, um, you needed about 10, uh, 10 to 11 rows to make one. For this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I only did nine. And that's just because cotton yarn is a little bit bigger and so it makes a bigger surface, okay? So I only had to do nine rows for my face, but if you're doing this for a man um, or someone who has just a bigger head or a bigger face, you may, may need to go bigger with the width, okay? Now, um, so what you would do is, is you would just just do your chain of 35 for your ear and then you would come back down right here into this last space you would do a single crochet and then you would do a slip stitch to hold it all in together like this okay and then you would tie off and that's your your ear piece, and then you would do that on the other side as well, okay? So let's talk about these little pieces. So that's all you need to know for this. So you need nine to 10 rows, depending on the face, going up using the same pattern that we just did, repeating it over and over again. And then about 30 to 35 chains for the ear, depending upon how many that you need. However, I use 35 for mine, okay? Now, so let's talk about these little things in the back here that are holding everything in place. So what I did, um, with the chains that I had, with the rows that I had, I chained 12. So you just do a chain of 12. You leave a piece on each end, and then you put, you take your darning needle, come out on one side here, work it in, come out on one side down here, work it in, and then you've got a little chain here to hold your piece of cotton in. And you do the same side over here. Now I will tell you, I did count over eight, so you'll know where to put it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where I came in um, and brought my string through and then worked it in, okay, my three times, okay? So that's um, how you do this. And let me show you how to put the piece of cotton in. So here's a piece of cotton, okay? And I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm going to place it right under here. Okay, now you can make it thicker if you wanted to, if it would make you feel better. You can do whatever you want to do. And like I said, you could sew it as well. Now, and then I would just, once I got it into place, I would just work it exactly how I wanted it. Okay. And yes, these will, like I said before, they will stay in place. Okay. So just like that. Look at that, they will stay in place. And obviously they're gonna be up against your mouth, so they're not going anywhere, okay? So this is my plan for what I've decided to do to make these masks more lightweight. So I hope this is helpful for you and I hope it answers a lot of questions that I've gotten regarding the mask, using cotton, using acrylic and stuff like that. And also in the thumbnail, you're gonna see a couple cotton masks with faces on them. And the way to do that is in my child's um, mask video, which I will put in the description below, it shows you how to add a face to any one of these masks, okay? So you'll basically be able to see from that how to make a kitty face or anything like that that you wanted to, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna put that in the, so in the description before you want below, you wanna look for my other mask video, which also gives this pattern and it's an acrylic. Then you're gonna look for my video on um, how to put a face on a mask and a kid's mask. That's all in the same video. And then if you're a beginner and you don't know how to crochet, this is the perfect time when you're staying at home and you know you wanna learn a new craft, it's a perfect time to learn how to crochet. So if you're a beginner and you don't know the stitches that we're doing today or you just wanna learn, I have a great beginner video for crochet and I will put that in the description box below as well. So thanks so much for watching. And if you 
you have any questions, comments, or anything, you can find me on Facebook. And of course, right here on YouTube down below in the comments, okay? So, um, and Instagram, sorry. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Happy crocheting. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.